Carol Baker. I am going to do a breakdown of Kip, Kick Up Your Heels, the Nathan Ballard and Amanda Lim song that I learned off of Worldwide Clogging Fun Dance. Uh, this is a great routine. It's so fun. I know students that learn it are just going to really love it. Uh, love to do it with their clogging group. So I will do a breakdown. So this will be posted on YouTube. Uh, for those who don't have Facebook Live, and um, you can learn it off of that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break down all the parts to it, and then we'll do a dance through with music. So it starts off with part A will be a clog over vine traveling to the left. So you have side, front, side, back, side, front, and a basic. And then you do your heel twist step where you travel to that you swivel to the right, so you're gonna go double twist, move your toes, twist your heels, move your toes, twist your heels, move your toes, twist and lift, okay? So it's four counts, it'll go and uh, one, and two, and three, and four. Awesome. Then your left foot is free, you're gonna do a triple. I slid back a little bit to the left, but we'll just see, depending on what your spacing is in your studio or stage. Then you'll do a clog over vine to the right. So you have side, cross, side, back. Same twisty vine, but opposite foot. Double heels to the left, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, lift. Okay, so the twisty vine again, left foot leads it, ready, go, heels first. And then you do a triple on your right foot. All right, so that is the whole first part. Let's put it together. Ready, go, clock over. No. 
next part we're going to do is a really fun part. It's the Charles dance. So you're going to double step, kick in front, ball, heel, rock, step, and back. So our Charleston is double step, kick in front, ball, heel, rock, and back. Um, no, the great thing with this part is it's three Charlestons in a row. So we're going to be really good at them by the time we finish this dance. So Charleston, left foot, three of them. Ready? Go. Double step, kick in front, ball, heel. Double step, kick in front. One more time. You can get those arms going. And then when you finish, we do a triple. Excellent. The next thing we'll do is the Charlestons on our right foot. So same sequence of steps. Double step, kick in front, ball, heel, rock and back. Do that again. Kick in front, ball, heel. One more time. And your triple. Excellent. So let's do that third part. We're on our third part. Charleston's with your triples. Left foot start. Five, six. Charleston's go. Double step. Kick in front. Ball heel. Double step. Kick in front. Five Here's your triple. Charleston's on your right foot. You got it. One more time. And a triple. chair. So a rocking chair is double step and kick and a basic. And Nathan and Amanda did a big clap over their head, which I really love. This music is so um, uplifting that I think the clap was a good option. So you're going to double step on your kick. You're going to bring those hands up and a basic. Okay. And then um, let's see here. What's after a rocking chair? Oh yeah, uh, you're gonna double step on your left foot. These are side touches. You're gonna touch your toe and lift it up and then double step, touch your toe and lift it up. So you have your rocking chair, side touches, touch up, touch up. Then if you want to add a little point on your toe, I thought that was kind of cute too. Um, and then we're going to do the uh, basic sandwich step, which they called um, a swing, swing basics, I think. Uh, and it looked like this. So you're going to do a basic on your left foot. You're going to do a modified basic on your right. So kick, step, rock, step. Modified basic on your left. Kick, step, rock, step and a basic on your right. Awesome. So let's give that a try. They call it a swing basic. Ready? Go basic. Kick one. Kick two. Add a basic. Excellent. And then as soon as we finish that, we do the rocking chair again. So you go back into your rocking chair. Side touches. Touch your toe. Touch your toe. Right here, instead of the swing basics, we're going to do a jazz square. So you'll go ball, side, ball, heel in front, ball, heel in back, ball, heel, side, two double steps. And I would do that forward. So you would go one, two, and then jump back, do two steps, go left, right, and clap your hands. Okay, so the ending is a jazz square. Two doubles, jump it back. Okay, so let's put that last section together. We'll have a rocking chair. Excellent, side touches. Basics, or swing basics. Five, 
six, rocking chair, side tuck. considerably so it needs to be edited and if you don't have that ability just message me and I can email you a copy of it so I had Alyssa cut it but I also got a, a cut from Nathan that um, I can send as well so they ended up being the same cut oops all right so let's get some music here I'm gonna dance it slow and fast Oh, let me turn myself on here. There we go. Check, 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 check. I'll cue with the mic too. There we go. Check, check. All right, everything's working. Let's get the sound set. Check, check. Okay, you guys, so. I'm gonna slow it down even a little bit more. We'll start with that clog over mine. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, I like this. All right, so this is at 75%. Those who use a slowdowning or slow down mechanism or app on their iPads or phones, uh, that's where I have it right now. Okay, let's dance it. We're going to start with a clog over to the left. Here we go. Five, six, clog over. Do that twisty bar. Triple. Clog over.
with it being as entertaining as it is. So I'll bump it up to 85%. So it was at 75. We'll go up 10% from there. All right, here we go. Good luck, you guys. Five, six, clock over. Yeah.